This is Redbeard, and in this adventure, I discuss my experience at the Wildwood Grill in the Fontana Village. And here I am in the Veterans Park in Palestine, Texas. What does this memorial have to do with the Fontana Village experience? Well, uh, my dad, uncle, and I, we had a bad experience there. That, that's not the story, though. The story is the Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association. They were there at the Fontana Grill. And I, I didn't see them being treated very well. Uh, they had a, a big event there. There were hundreds of combat veterans there and supporters and family. What I saw, and it was limited to that one night, was poor service. They had reservations. They'd even been there before. They had a conference uh, or whatever it was there a couple of years prior. So it was nothing new, but they weren't prepared at all. Horrible service. Uh, it looked like they were being treated very poorly. They weren't respected. Uh, and the least little bit is if you're a group going somewhere and you make a reservation, you should get service. If you're combat veterans and you're going somewhere, you should get outstanding service. I would have brought in people from all over to make sure these guys were taken care of. So um, I got to thinking, what in the world can I do? I mean, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't serve them better there. I couldn't bring them their food any faster. I was there waiting for my own food, for that matter. Uh, what can I do? Well, I decided um, I'm going to repeat something I did in 2017. In 2017, and you watch this video here to see a little more about it, I participated in the Tour of Honor. Uh, the Tour of Honor raises awareness and, and funds, but awareness on uh, things that we'll miss, like this park here in Palestine, Texas. Um, awareness of what these men and women did for us, not just the military, but also the first responders. Uh, it's a great organization. Um, check it out. There'll be a link below uh, that you can go and look. But registration opens on the 1st of December. So December 1st, you can register for the 2020 Tour of Honor. So I'm asking you to, uh, to join me and many others as you visit over 500 memorials throughout the United States to help bring awareness, uh, not just to ourselves, but to other people of uh, what these men and women have done. Uh, and maybe, just maybe, uh, when they show up somewhere, whether it's the combat veterans or the VFW or just the veteran walking down the street, and they'll be treated better. They'll be treated at least like regular people, uh, if not the, the heroes that they deserve to be treated as. So if you'd like to join me, please comment below. Uh, you can contact me uh, or just get on the Tour of Honor website uh, and sign up starting December 1st. The event goes from April 1st to uh, October 31st. And check out the website for more information. Thank you. And until my next adventure, this is Redbeard. See you on the road. This park is uh, very interesting uh, for a few reasons. But uh, one of them is uh, on the sides here, they have the bricks. Uh, with the names on there of uh, many people and organizations who served throughout uh, many of different uh, conflicts. We've been in World War II, I've seen Desert Storm, Korea, uh, some of them just say the Army. So it's uh, all the veterans, not just combat veterans, that have served. I'm assuming people from Palestine, but uh, not positive. Here's this weeping angel. I need to be facing up to a larger wall in between three flagpoles. You got the U.S., Texas, and the POW flags flying. This is the uh, marker in the center dedicated to those who made the supreme sacrifice. Over to the left. This one is uh, this is for Captain Stephen Bennett, who is a native of Palestine, Texas. He's awarded the Medal of Honor. Fought in Vietnam. And then over to the right, we have this plaque with uh, quotes from the Bible, MacArthur, and Shakespeare.
Here on the back side of everything, there's this little walkway with uh, the bricks lining it. In this spot, they're three high. And then the plaques of the people who helped make this park possible. DFW, you got state representatives, coordinators, architects, judges, organizations and individuals that have done something, whether or I'm assuming whether they've paid or they've done something to help make sure this thing happens.